Welcome back to This Week in History, the one where Native American activists take over the island prison of Alcatraz, and we answer the question, when did the United States government start taking Native American issues seriously? You're not gonna like the answer. In 1963, Alcatraz shut down as a prison, and several years later, members of the Sioux tribe tried to claim the property based on an old 1800s treaty that allowed Native Americans to take over abandoned federal land, and they were promptly chased off. But this week in 1969, activists from the group known as Indians for All Tribes took over the island for good, or for 19 months, you know, same difference. A group of 89 men, women, and children successfully occupied the island prison, and they were led by a Mohawk tribe member named Richard Oakes. The group claimed they would use the prison as an American Indian cultural center. Oakes and his group made themselves at home throughout the prison and even in the old warden's house. Then came the symbolic payback. Indians of all tribes claimed Alcatraz was theirs by right of discovery. Where have we heard that before? Columbus comma Christopher. Oakes also offered to pay for Alcatraz in $24 in glass beads and cloth which is the same price colonizers offered to Native Americans for the island of Manhattan. And then they did this one. They set up the Bureau of Caucasian Affairs, a not too subtle shot at the Bureau of Indian Affairs, and that was to patrol the water around Alcatraz. In the meantime, hundreds of activists flocked to the island. At its peak, they had 600 people living there, and they had a kitchen, they had a clinic, and they had schools set up to teach the children. And all along, Richard Nixon's administration left them alone. But after the first year, the small colony, I think it's fair to call it a colony, don't you? Towards the end, the small colony started to collapse. The student activists had to go back to school and their replacements were mostly people who just wanted to live on the island for free. And after Oak's stepdaughter died, he left and with him a majority of the leadership on Alcatraz. And after 19 months, finally the occupation ended with only a handful of men, women, and children living on the island still. While the occupation was going on, President Richard Nixon announced that it was finally time for Native Americans to be making decisions on Native Americans' lives. I know! And in what was at least a little bit of follow through, the US government turned over millions of acres of land to the tribes. And they also signed several pieces of legislation to support self-rule for tribes. But 50 years later, Native Americans still face numerous education, economic, and social issues. And until those are addressed, it's really not equal footing for all here in America. Thank you for watching This Week in History. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we could use a like and a subscribe down below. And if you didn't, come on, why are you still watching? Give us a like and a subscribe and start liking it.